easy now. Check it. I is here with none other than my man, Professor James Ziegler. Him was the head of something called the IMS, which stands for the Immigration uh, Nationalized... Naturalization. Naturalization Society. Service. Service. Wicked. What is Homeland Security? Homeland Security is about protecting the individuals in the country right. from forces that may come in and try to do harm, such as terrorists. Could it be possible to work with the terrorists to say, yo, here's a building that we're going to demolish anyway. Go. Have your fun with it. Do whatever you want. But just don't do the other ones. Well, that's never, that will not work with the terrorists. Why not? Because the terrorists, you say, okay, here's an old building. We're going we're gonna to demolish you. Go have your fun with it. Do it. That's not, that doesn't achieve their purpose. So, Professor, does you think that terrorists will use airplanes again? I think they would like to. Why does you let them fly on the same planes as normal passengers? Why don't you arrange separate flights for terrorists so if they is going to do this terrible behavior, uh, let them ruin their own trip? Well, listen, uh, if we knew they were terrorists, uh, we'd pick them up. We'd never let them on an airplane. Let's talk about in the airports. You know those machines that beep when you've got coins in your pocket. Why don't they develop a machine that beeps if you was carrying a gun? Well, it does too. It, it, they, a gun will also set it off, or a knife. But it's, uh, them is mainly designed for coins and keys, No, no, it? no, no. It's designed for guns and knives and, uh, and objects that are, could be weapons. Does they use dogs in airports? Uh, for explosive devices. Ain't the problem, though, that 99% of dogs can't speak English. So how does they let you know who is carrying a bomb? Mm. Well, dogs are trained to give, in, to give indications. How? Uh, well, they will sit and point, for example. How does you know they ain't pointing to say this one definitely ain't got a bomb in it? Well, they don't, they're trained to only respond to a certain, certain smell. <laughs>
Yekshamash. In Kazakhstan, the favorite hobbies are disco dancing, archery, rape, and table tennis. In America, there are many hobbies too. I find more. Cheng Kui. Hello, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What it mean uh, self-defense? Well, if someone, it, it's more than just if someone attacks me. If someone attacks me violently, I can, I can protect myself from getting hurt. What is the best move to silence a woman? Uh, I don't know that you can silence a woman. What is the best way to defend from a Jew? Well, we don't... Uh, uh, if people are, have different beliefs, yes. they believe in God, Allah, Muhammad, Jesus, whatever they believe in, yes. we try to respect that they, they believe that way. Yes, but how do you stop their claw? Claw? You say if, claw? If someone go to claw, yes. you knock, the, the knock Jew away. Claw. You just knock away. Knock away. So if the Jew come with a claw? You knock away. With a claw? Knock away. Claw? Knock away. <laughs> they can do two hands. And you can do two hands. It's very good. Yeah. Or you can oh. knock away this way. Either way, it doesn't matter. And if the Jew come? You, you knock away. And the Jew come? And you knock away. The Jew come with a claw. <laughs> with a claw. With a claw. Uh, what is the best way to stop my wife do a rape on me? Uh, gosh, I don't know. Maybe uh, if it's your wife, um, Show her more love. Uh, show me what so, you mean. She will say, uh, Borat, Borat, time, uh, time to uh, Time to play. <laughs> okay. With you. Hold me down, Boris, like, like uh, she would. All right. And you're on top. Yes. Okay, now. If Borat. She, when she leans over, she tried to do a she's off balance. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, sir. Thank you. You are good. When we get the body and we get it nice and relaxed and we want to move just easily, it's nicer if, if you could change to some nice, comfortable clothing. David, yes. what is this, David? This is a portable uh, harmonium. You know this song? Mm -mm. No, I don't. Uh, from a uh, uh, music factory, a C and C. Everybody dance now. We pick. do uh, this, how you say, yeah. Uh, oh, the dances, yes. yeah. Yeah. With this, it's every morning dancing. Oh, oh that's nice. Galen. Hello. This is Borat. Nice to meet Borat. you. Yes. Thank you, Borat. Okay. And this is Palomino. Palomino. Yes. Palomino, this is Borat. Hello. Borat. Nice to meet you. So I want us to have our own sound. Uh, what will your sound be? Hey. Ah. Uh, hey. Children. 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 You make the sound? Uh, yeah, everybody dance now. <laughs> yes. Okay. So. We go, we try now, yes. all together. One, two, three. Hey. Children, ah. children. Everybody dance children. now. Ah. Children, ah. everybody ah. dance now. Ah. Children, ah. everybody ah. dance now. Because ah. I'm already tired. I'm too old, you know. No, you yeah. are 48. 48, you are 32. Yes. How old do you think Palomino is? Uh, 48. 43. 43? Yeah. Ah, you look uh, more old. 
I'm going to ask you to draw the experience that you just had, however that shows up. Okay, so let's just hold ours up and show each other, just for a moment, just so we can look at one another's. What did it say? Everybody, children, dance, ah, oh, now. Yes. And so that had meaning for me, That's just nice. to bring yeah. that all yes. together. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Right. Um, I do a picture, only small, of a Tishnik massacre, where uh, many Uzbek uh, yeah. crush. Yeah. Yeah. How did you feel when you did this? Uh, very proud. Very proud. Yes. I'm just listening um, with uh, the sadness, a little sadness for your people. And yes, no, it is not sad. It is us who do the kill. You want to smell? Show us. Do you want to right. tell yes. the smell thing? Uh, it uh, uh, show your spirit. Yeah. I can uh, smell you. It's fine. Yes? Yeah. Smell. It's good, man. Yes. You want? Yes. I is now off to meet the husband and wife team that ran the Environmental Protection Agency. Then be called Christine and Todd Whitman. Both! Let's talk about solar energy. Ain't you worried that if we use a lot of this solar energy, mm -hmm. that we will use the sun up? No, the sun's burning anyway. I mean, right. and we're not, what we're doing is taking what's already coming down and putting it to good use. But Mia, there's some countries like in Alaska where there's already run out of sun and there's like darkness for like months of a year. Well, that's, that's because of the rotation of the earth. It's not because yeah. the sun is running out. It's because the relationship of the sun and the earth to one another. Why is water getting dirty? If you change the oil of your motorcycle or your car in the driveway and you just dump it there, it gets washed down in a rain, it gets into the water table, it right. gets into the water, it dirties the water. Ain't the main reason why the water is dirty though that a lot of fishes does their toilet inside the water? Well, fish do it, uh, but farmers, the animals get, if you let cows and pigs and sheep go into the streams, then they're dirtying the water. So why don't you tell the fish whatever don't know how you tell them, but make sure they ain't doing their plop in the water. But I really think it's more us than they. So what about whales? Don't they make massive pollutions in the water? Again, they're still, they're not, when you consider the amount of water there is in the ocean and the seas, and you consider the number of whales, they're not the problem. But they, it's, you've seen the size big. of something, oh, yeah. they must hey, they're, do massive they're big. ones They've in there. They've got to be massive. <laughs> What is Earth First? Earth First is, um, it's really an idea of putting the Earth before yourself. You know that me and the West Staines Massive did a protest against McDonald's in Staines? Nice. McDonald's definitely deserves it. The consumption of meat is definitely adding to the world's starvation problem. Oh, no, 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 we weren't against that. We was against, they started charging for their ketchup like eight pence for like a little bit of oh, ketchup. Right, taxing people every chance Yo, get, so yeah. we was like, yo, protesting, saying ketchup should be free and there shouldn't be like a limit to how many ketchups you can have. Now, there's lots of good reasons to protest McDonald's. I mean, uh, they're for, definitely well, using a lot of pesticides. They're definitely using a lot of chemicals. You know, the, <clears throat> the slaughter of, of cattle, you know, mass slaughter of cattle is... The ketchup thing, though. All right, that's a big thing, too. So, what is things like this tree used for? Mainly lux luxury items, as uh, we'd, we'd say. Is, you'd see, like, a lot of redwood hot tubs, um, a lot of redwood 
decks. Is you telling me that this tree wouldn't prefer to be a hot tub with a couple of fly honeys in, totally, you know, no clothes on, whatever, rather than having, you know, uh, you in? They're good friends. Safe respect. Whisper. So, yo, what's your name again? My name's Whisper. What? Whisper. <laughs> Why is that? Does he like whispering? <laughs> Get it? Because <laughs> his name, Whisper. All you lot out there, and I was speaking for me and my friends here, saying that go out there, publicize this thing, talk to your friends, make something that makes a difference. Burn a car, whatever, mash people up but let them know that you is doing it for this cause, so then we can get publicity for it, innit? Stay non-violent. Yo, and, but... And we don't do property destruction. But wouldn't it be more better for your cause? No. People are smashing things up no. anyway to say, yo, I was doing this for the tree people. No. Wouldn't it be good if it weren't it just smelly right. hippies who was doing it, but it was also like If it was everybody people. doing it, then they'd find a way to demonize the regular people. Or but if them come at you with axes, you come at them with guns, they ain't no. gonna come yeah, back, yo. They'll come back with guns. Right. Yo, well, well, you get Uzis, man. No one's nope. gonna take then like get a nine millimeter rifles. Glock, no. man. They'll, they'll get AK-47s. No. Yo, will you get a bomb? They'll, if we no. get bombs, yo, you they'll you get like, bombs. Yo, right. will you nuke them? Whatever. Oh, we nuke them, then the trees get blown up. Then everything's yeah, and then whatever. Forget about them. At least you've won. Does you want to just give a final message to the camera? Sure. Rise up and rebel, you know, with non-violence. So what's your message to the camera? My it's message, not about non-violence as well, is it? I, I would say it has to be. I encourage Rubbish. you to rise up, do whatever you can to make the earth a better place. Yo, whatever you can, violent or non-violent. No, I did not say that. Yo, well... I can't advocate violence. Yo, but man, if I start advocating non-violence, come back to the street, man, <laughs> you know. Well, maybe, People be, yo, you was a non-violent guy, yo. That's the power, part of the power structures that we're working on chiseling away at with our actions, with our words, with our thoughts, with our songs. What songs yeah. has you got? Gentle warrior with a heart like gold and a rainbow in your eye. Brave companion. That's just the first part of it. It's called Gentle Warrior. No offense, but that song in my opinion, is a bit crap. Each has their own opinion. Eagle, you're looking great. Coming up nine minutes. So, jetzt bin ich hier in Miami, South Beach, only the coolest club scene in the whole world. Big deal, I've been here four times already. Good news for you, I'm on the guest list tonight, and it's plus one. Let's party zusammen machen! Also, jetzt bin ich hier mit James Butler from the super cool, super club, uh, Nerve Lounge in Miami. Uh, Florida, tell me, what did Matt Damon say to you when he came into the club? Well, Matt had had a few drinks and he was having a good time, so uh, he just said that he'd be back at some point in the next little <laughs> while. Yeah. And what did you say to him? I said, come back anytime. <laughs> and then what did he say to you? Well, he said he's going to go home and make sure that he takes care of the girl that he was with, so I said, well, have a good time. <laughs> and then what did you say to him? Well, that was about it. Did you ever think of like telling somebody that conversation or? Yeah, um, actually I spoke to my brother today and I told him in, up in Toronto, Canada. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> then what did he say? Oh, he was laughing. He thought it was a <laughs> hilarious time. It was fun. So let's talk about who you would let in and who you wouldn't let in. Uh, how do you deal with that awkward situation of somebody in a wheelchair coming in and you want to uh, push them away but you don't want to create a scene? How do you turn them away? You just go to the next person and let the other people in. Yes. So what, you just ignore them or do you wheel them away? No, or? you just try to ignore them and hopefully they'll go away. Where do you see the future of clubbing? The future of clubbing, I believe, is in house music. Do you think if house music was around in the 30s that World War II would have happened? No, I don't. I don't think it would have happened at all. Why? 
let's face it, music is the international language of love, and that's what makes the world go around. Let me ask you a question. The rise of club music, the fall of apartheid, a coincidence or not? I don't think it's a coincidence at all. It's about creating good energy and, and love throughout the world. If your club was a note, what would it be? Uh, just stop me where's, where we get to where your club is. Uh, right there. Right there. Oh, right there. Yeah. Oh, 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 right why? There. Why? Because it's not quite. The, it, it's not quite at the top of the energy level. Cool. But we like to keep it um, along the mainstream. What do you think of clubs that are just oh? They're dull and boring. Yeah. And clubs that are oh, 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 when they're all over the place. Again, people won't stay all night. Sure. And oh probably full of hip-hop assholes. <laughs> okay, you can come in just by yourself. Not with him. No, just you, not him. Is Tommy here? Tommy. No. I'm on the list. Victor Bruno. What's your name? Victor Bruno. Victor Bruno? B-R-U-N-O. You're not dressed right. You're not dressed right, that's ridiculous. Go and change your shirt. Make an effort. You're going out to a club. What? This is a nightclub. This isn't like a shopping mall. What are you talking about? This shirt's fucking 250 dollars. If you spend some proper money on the shirt, you'd be able to get it. Yeah, okay, I'm on the fucking list. I'll have none of that attitude. Go and change your shirt, and maybe you've got a chance. <laughs> Booyakasha, animal rights. Animals is all around everywhere. So if you is thinking that animal rights ain't important, it is. So does you think it's all right for young people out there to do experiments on animals in their own home? I, 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 would, I would be against it in, in virtually every case. Because me and my mate Dave, we did an experiment to like find out about the nuclear thing and we got a hamster and we put it in the microwave and we wanted to see if it would survive and it did. It came out, you know, it was like a bit more hot but it was alive. Ain't that all right? Children who don't have any background in medical or, or uh, uh, knowledge of the area should not be trying something on an animal that they that could possibly harm them. So is it all right for people to wear fur? Um, I don't know how a rational person could say I need a fur coat at the expense of 60 animals. Does you really think an animal would mind if it knew it was going to a premiere on the back of P. Diddy? I think that uh, the animals would prefer to live out their life in the woods and die a natural death and don't probably even know who P. Diddy is. That's what I think. Well, everyone knows who P. Diddy is. No, yeah, even I do, so, you know. But, I, but, you know, I'm not a fox or a chinchilla. But ain't fur coats the way out of the ghetto for some animals? Um, I think that we don't need fur, whatever culture we're in and whoever we are. So does you think it's right that now some animals has got human girlfriends? Because, like, we saw this video of this horse who was going out, you know, having a relationship with this Dutch girl. And, like, first up, I thought, what's in it for her? And then, like, we saw his donk. And, like, you know, I's got a big one, but I ain't got nothing on, like, these horses. There's no way I can compete. You know, you've got a normal guy, then you've got me, then you've got, like, the horse. This is the exploitation of animals, and I think right. that's what we're trying to say. We're all agreeing, we're all agreeing that this is an exploitation of animals. Of animals? Humans. Oh, yes. Yeah, but yes. the horse was, like, totally happy. There was, like, about half a gallon of proof. It wasn't the animal's decision. It, it, he didn't go out there and try to wine and dine that, that whatever that person was. Well, he does a bit of DJing, so let me ask you for, like, one word. One word, science. Learn. Compassion. 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 Is that a word? It is. Compassion. Welfare. Science, science, you better have your welfare. 
Cause you know that we compassion, we compassion. You gonna have your we call learning. Your children learning, learning about the animals. What do you do if a man come and attack you with a big, big long in his hand, uh, how you say? Uh, Stick? Uh, no, uh, big long... Uh, uh, penis? Oh, that doesn't happen very much over here. We don't see that. In the Kazakhstan, very much. Uh, my friend uh, Azamat Bagatov, a giant from Turkmenistan, attack him, broke his anus. I, I think probably the best thing to do would be to strike or kick. Check it. Go shorty, it's your Earth Day. We gonna party like it's your Earth Day. Yo peeps, just be Whitman in the house. On the mic, eyes unslayable. Respect our crunk planet. Make sure your trash is biodegradable. Peace, eyes out. Respect. Big up yourself, governor. Keep it real. <laughs>